What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to, well, guess what? The very first episode of our Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough, Act 3, the 2022-2023 edition. Don't know if this is going to make it past the end of the year, but we'll see what happens. Anywho, guys, yes, we're back in Pokemon Crystal because, well, we kind of want to do things a little bit different. Um, many of you guys have said that I'm actually very, very well, like, very good at generation, well, the older generations of games and all that stuff, dubbing me the old school gamer and all that, which, you know, I, I, I'll, you know, I'll gladly accept and all that stuff. So, yes, a few months ago, moved into a studio, moved out of it, probably because it didn't work out, but the initial plan was to do... Pokemon walkthroughs yet again with all the native Pokemon and then the trading and all that stuff And that's exactly what we're gonna be doing right here now I know that I go back and forth on ideas and all that stuff, but trust me on this one guys We found a few new options a few new things We're gonna explain a little bit later on right here when we start our game So let's go ahead and press this new new game button right here and well as many of you guys already know Yes this game, Pokemon Crystal, it was the first game to actually allow a boy and girl format. So let's go ahead and put the boy right here. Anywho. Oh yes, we're waking up. As always. Like me in real time. Yeah, I... <laughs> yeah, I kinda... I kinda, I kinda oversleep a little. So, it is currently 3 o'clock. Yes, it is. And, uh, well, let's put in a little bit of a... Let's put 8 minutes right here. And yes, we have overslept. So... <laughs> Here it is, guys, the beginning of the game. Hello! Sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People call me the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited by creatures uh, that we call Pokemon. People and Pokemon live together by supporting each other. Some people play with Pokemon, some battle with them. But we don't know everything about Pokemon yet. There are still many mysteries to solve. And that's why I study Pokemon every day. Now, what did you say your name was? We already know what the name is, guys. It's me. It's me. It's GLD. Or Draven, for short, and all that stuff. Let's go right ahead and spell that out. Bam. There it is. And Draven, are you ready? Your very own adventure story, your Pokemon story is about to unfold. You'll face fun times and tough challenges. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits! Let's go! I'll be seeing you later. Okay, so here we are back into the Johto region, Generation 2. And like I said, guys, we're uh, continuing our little Act 3 right here because there's quite a few things that connect to Act 3 right here, and that is... This will enable us to actually play Pokemon Stadium properly and all that stuff. Yeah, I've been wanting to do that for quite some time, never really got around to it. My schedule has been hectic, but you know what? I am going to make it work right here, guys, since, you know, we moved out of our, our studio that really didn't work out, and uh, we're going to make it work right here inside my little studio room and all that stuff. So, anywho, guys, we're going to do things a little differently right here in Pokemon Crystal, the 2022 edition and all that crud. Uh, there will be trades. There will be a lot of stuff. I know that I said initially, well, on my community post, that I'm probably going to stream one of these games. But I thought against it because, well, you know, I love Pokemon Crystal and I love Pokemon Emerald. And those two walkthroughs, I really do enjoy making walkthroughs out of them. You know what I mean? Um, doing on my stream takes a lot of preparation and I still need to learn a lot more. So, with those streams, I found a page right here on Facebook where I can actually take a look at some newer hack games that, well involve these uh, these games Pokemon Crystal and Pokemon Emerald so sooner rather than later you guys are gonna be seeing a stream here and there and yeah we're gonna have some fun lots and lots of fun we're gonna we're gonna keep this uh, channel floating uh, just for a little bit more anywho now I do have a member section right here onto my channel and I realized that well you know what we need to add some content on that and I know that I've been trying to put some Pokemon gold and silver on there but <laughs> You know, I always put them as unnarrated walkthroughs and all that stuff. So, what I'm going to be doing later on, later on in, uh, I don't know how long it will take, but later on, we will be doing some Pokemon Silver on the members only walkthroughs. So, if you guys want to be a member and check that thing out, yes, Pokemon Silver will be a part of it. And, well, I guess it's, it's dubbed a 
playthrough, not a walkthrough, unnarrated, um, thank you for the correction, but a playthrough of Pokemon Gold will soon follow right there. Don't know how long that will take, but it's probably going to be right right around the holiday se the season or anything like that. So, let's go right ahead and change it up right here. So here we are in Pokemon Crystal. We are going to change it up. And I don't want to see my mom right now because I know exactly what she wants. Okay, let's step outside. We're going to be right here. And here's our mom. She's like, oh, Draven, our neighbor professor, Elma's looking for you. He said that he wanted you to do uh, to do something for him. Oh, I almost forgot. Your Pokemon, your Poke Gear is back from the repair shop. Here you go. So there it is, guys. We got ourselves a Poke Gear. All right. So the Pokemon Gear, or just Poke Gear, it's essential if you want to be a good trainer. Oh, the day of the week uh, isn't set. You mustn't forget that. What day is it? Well, as I am currently recording, it is. Yeah, it's Saturday. Um, there are quite a few things that, you know, involve the day, the night, and the day of the week. And they will all be covered right here into this walkthrough. I need to, I kind of I kind of feel like I need to do a little bit more. I did check out my, my first crystal walkthrough, and yeah, there could be a little bit more. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing right here. So it is not daylight savings time right now. I think that might be next week. I don't know. And yes, it is 312. Come and adjust your clock for daylight savings. And by the way, do you know how to use your phone? Yes, but go ahead and explain how do we use the phone because, well, Mama loves to teach us everything right here. So, yes, it is convenient, and bam, okay, we are free to go. So, anywho, it is 3 o'clock here in, uh, let's see, Newbark Town. The town where the winds of new beginnings blow. Okay, and as always, we got to check in the back side right here because, well, look at this. Look at this guy. He's checking through the window. He's like, so this is the famous um, uh, Pokemon lab. What are you staring at? And then, bam, he just pushes us. Wow, like, he must have a lot of strength for, uh, for all that stuff. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check with you later, okay? So let's go right ahead and talk to Professor Elm right here. And, well, look at this. Draven, there you are. I needed to ask you a favor. I'm conducting a new Pokemon research right now. I was wondering if you could help me with the with it, Draven. You see, I'm writing a paper that I want to present at the conference, but there are some things that I just don't quite understand yet. So, I'd like to I'd like you to raise a Pokemon that that I recently caught. Sure, let's go right ahead and do that. Thanks. You're a great help. When I announce my findings, I'm sure we'll delve a bit deeper into the many mysteries of Pokemon. You can count on it. And bam, email has been sent, and oh, oh hey, I got an email. Hmm, uh-huh, oh, okay, okay. Hey, listen, I have an acquaintance called Mr. Pokemon. He keeps finding weird things and raving about his discoveries. Anyway, I just got an email from him saying that this time it's for real. It's a, it is intriguing, but they're busy, or we're busy, or, they're bu or he's busy, with our Pokemon research. Wait, I know. Draven, can you go in our place? Hmm. I want you to raise one of these Pokemon contained in these balls. You'll be the Pokemon's first partner, Draven. Go on, pick one. Okay, so let's go. Let's go back on. Uh, let's go. Let's go back in history with me. You know, your buddy Draven. So, as a kid, I would always pick Totodile. Let's go ahead and take a look at this guy right here. I would always pick this guy right here because of the scratch attack. But then later on. Because it was such a cool water type Pokemon. It's actually one of my favorite water type Pokemon uh, or water starters right here. But the other, fun like the funny thing too was playing into Pokemon Crystal. I was more of a water type trainer because I would always be using the shiny Gyarados. I know that Lugia is not exactly a water type Pokemon, but I would give it water type attacks. Uh, Lantern is is another Pokemon that comes to mind. Poliwhirl, all that stuff. So I was mainly a Pokemon, a Water type trainer until I really got educated on type advantage and disadvantages and all that stuff. So yeah, here's Totodile, the Water type Pokemon. No, we will not be choosing this guy because well, yeah, you know, I got a plan for this whole walkthrough right here. And well, here we have Cyndaquil, the Fire type Pokemon. As many of you guys already know. In my first Pokemon Crystal walkthrough, I actually came out with Cyndaquil, or Cinder. And we will have Cinder some point around, you know, maybe the members only walkthrough or Pokemon Gold walkthrough. Who knows? 
But in this walker right here, since I did say I wanted to change it up and I want to make it a little more difficult for me, I don't think Cinder's going to be a, a choice. So ladies and gentlemen, say hello to Chikorita, the grass type Pokemon. Now in Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow, it would have been smart to actually choose the grass type Pokemon, but unfortunately, here in Johto, it's the complete opposite. Yeah, you're going to go through a, well, a, a mini gauntlet of two type disadvantages, and yeah, you don't want to do that. So, so you like Chikorita, the grass type Pokemon? Yes, I do. And well, let's go right ahead and take our very first Pokemon right here, Chikorita. And well, let's go ahead and nickname this Pokemon. Since it's a male, I already have its nickname pre-planned. So ladies and gentlemen, say hello to Chico. Or boy or guy in Spanish, I don't know. Yeah, say hello to Chico right here. Not really much of a cool nickname or anything, but you know, spare the moment kind of thing. So, Mr. Pokemon lives a little bit beyond Cherry Grove. The next city over. It's almost a, a direct route. Wow, I need to. I really need to re read this in like. I really need to be more fluid with the reading and all that stuff, so you can't miss it. But just in case, here's my phone number. Call me if anything comes up. So there we go, guys. We got ourselves Professor Alan's phone number. It's gonna be a help. If your Pokemon is hurt, you should heal it with this machine. Feel free to use it anytime. Draven, I'm counting on you. Okay. So let's move on to our adventure, but before we do anything, the Professor Zay is going to be like, Draven, I want you to have this for your errand. Draven has received the potion. Okay. So we got ourselves a potion, and there are only two of us, so we're always busy. Yeah, you guys kind of told me that already. Okay, so first is first. Let's go right ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon, Chico, the Chikorita. Of course, it's a grass set Pokemon. And I did say... It was going to be a little difficult going or starting with this Pokemon because, well, yeah, you know, Violet City, Cherry, or what was the other one? Bugsy and all that crud. Yeah, bug type Pokemon and all that crud. And, well, it only has two moves right now, Tackle and Growl, but as you can see, it does have a berry. Something that, you know, was actually offered up in the second generation and all that stuff. And, well, look at its stats. Okay. I'm a little happy about that. I am really happy. Okay, so let's go right ahead and uh, continue our adventure right here into Route 29. Now, we already know what kind of Pokemon come in here. We already know what uh, is going to attack us, so do excuse the whole, you know, transitions and all that stuff because we will be hitting some Pokemon. Yeah, we're going to be battling them too, so if you see my Chikorita grow some levels, well, you know what it is. Let's go right ahead and find some Pokemon. Not right now. And, well... They really do put up some grasses right here. Holy crap. Okay, so let's go right here and try and get the Okay, so like I said, guys, yeah. There's going to be a lot of transitions uh, going into these wild Pokemon battles because we don't really need to see it. Like I said, we didn't really need to see it because, well, there's... It's not really that important right there. And, well, here we found ourselves a potion. Usually a good thing to actually have a few spare potions right here. And, well, let's see. Make it through right here. Yes, we didn't get hit by a Pokemon. Now, if you talk to this individual, he's going to be like, I wanted to take a break, so I saved to record my progress. That's good. That's great. That's fantastic. Okay, moving on. There we go. Okay, alrighty. Going right here. Now, another thing, too, that was offered up in Generation 2, or what was started right here in Generation 2, was, uh, well, berries and apricorns. As you can see, it's a fruit-bearing tree. Hey, a berry! Let's go right ahead and get that berry. Now, once the clock hits midnight, you will be able to get some more berries. It's a daily thing, and... Well, I would I would suggest just, like, you know, saving up some berries, just in case for, like, any kind of, uh... Some, some messed up situations right here. So, talk to this guy right here. He's like, I'm waiting for a Pokemon that appear only at night. Yes, there's a day and night cycle right here, too, which is pretty darn cool. We will be hitting some days. We will be hitting some nights. All that fun stuff. Now, talk to th this gentleman right here. He's like, you're a rookie trainer, aren't you? I can tell. That's okay. Everyone is a rookie at some point. If you'd like, I could teach you a few things. Sure. Okay, then. Follow me. So... Here we are with the old man, and he's going to be explaining a few things about the world of Pokemon, such as the Pokemon Center, where you can actually heal up your Pokemon. And then there's the Pokemart, 
Yes, there were two separate places at one point where you can actually buy your items, which we probably will be going to a little bit later on. And then right here, he's going to be looking at us. He's going to be like, hey, look, this is Route 30. Is Well, Route 30 is, a way, uh, is out this way. Trainers will be battling their po prize Pokemon out there. And then, well, of course, this is the sea. As you can see, it rhymes. Some Pokemon are found only in the water. Hmm, you don't say. And, well, here's the end of the line. He's going to be like, hmm, here. It's my house. Thanks for your company. Let me give you a small gift. And bam, he gives us the map card, which, well, it, it's pretty much the map. You'll be able to find everything around here like we need the map. Because, you know, we've been here quite a few times with all that stuff. So, we don't really need to heal our Pokemon right now. Let's go right up to Route 30 right here and see what this is all about. Saying something about Pokemon and all that crud. And here we have a house and a fruit berry tree, so let's go ahead and grab that. And there he is. A berry. Okay, a berry's gonna actually help us out right here. So that makes three total, one with the Pokemon. And if you talk to this gentleman, he's gonna be like, You know about Pokemon and berries? Well, my Pokemon got healthier by eating a berry. Here, I'll share one with you. And here we have another berry. So right off the bat, you get yourself at least four berries. One with your Pokemon. And remember, guys... This is where it all started. The only way your Pokemon can actually heal itself, or heal by itself with its item, well, it's it's very simple. After this. Okay, so it's very simple, guys. Any man-made items like potions, super potions, full heals, and all that stuff, that will not work. It has to be any kind of, like, you know, berries, any berries, non-man-made stuff. They actually help out your Pokemon, because it can actually eat it. Remember, it's, just, it's very, it's common sense right there. And, well, let's see, talk to this guy, he's like, Mr. Pokemon's house? It's a bit further ahead. And if you go right up here, you can't cross this area because there is a Pokemon battle. Go, Radita! What? This is a big battle! Leave me alone! Oh. Okay, so that's... That's actually, uh... Huh. Sorry, it's kind of funny how you see that from the outside looking in. And, well, we went through the long way, so we're gonna encounter a few Pokemon here. Yeah, these Pidgeys want to eat me, I swear to God. Now, something I discovered early on is there is a hidden item right around here. Let's go right ahead and see. Let's see, there's a hidden item right around here somewhere. Where are you? I know you're here somewhere. Where is you? Right around... I'm kicking, clicking, clicking the B button, the A button, I should say, and... Let's see, let's see, where are we, where are we? Well, let's go ahead and grab this first, okay? Because I know that there's a hidden item right around here somewhere. And if you see this, this is actually the Poison Cure Berry, which later on will become like a Lepa Berry or something like that. Okay, hidden item, where are you? Where is you? Where in the Mother Lover is you? Okay, so... I will find you. Hmm. I will find you. Where, oh, where are you? Okay, so... We're gonna, we're gonna put a pin on that and go in here, and here is Mr. Pokemon. Hello, hello! You must be Draven. Professor Elm said that you would come and visit. This is what I want Professor Elm to examine. And here we got the mystery egg, which is pretty darn good. I know a couple Pokemon, uh, uh, I know a couple who run a Pokemon daycare service. And they gave me that egg. I was intrigued, so I sent me a mail to Professor Elm. For Pokemon Evolution, Professor Elm is the authority. Even Professor Oak here recognizes that. If my assumption is correct, Professor Elm will know it. And, well, would you look at this? It's Professor Oak himself, and, well, he's like, huh. So you're Draven. I'm Oak, a Pokemon researcher. I was just visiting my old friend, Mr. Pokemon. I heard, uh, I heard you were running an errand for Professor Elm, so I waited here. Oh, what's this? A rare Pokemon? Let's see. Hmm, I see. I understand why Professor Elm gave you a Pokemon for this errand. To researchers like Professor Elm and myself, Pokemon are our friends. He saw that you would treat your Pokemon with love and care. Ah, you seem to be dependable. How would you like to help me out on something right here? See, this is the latest version of the Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or cut. 
It's a high tech encyclopedia. Can't even speak. And there it is, guys. We got ourselves the Pokedex. Go meet many kinds of Pokemon and complete that Pokedex. But I say so long. I have to get to Golden Run for my usual radio show. Draven, I'm counting on you. Okay. All right. And here's uh, yeah. Here's yeah. Here, here's Mr. Pokemon. He's like, you're returning to Professor Elm. Here, your Pokemon should get some rest. Bam, we are rested. I'm depending on you. Okay, so once we step outside, we're going to get a phone call. A very, very frantic phone call. And it's Professor Elm right here. He's like, hello? Driven? It's a disaster. Uh, uh, it's just terrible. W w what should I do? It's, oh, no. Please get back here now. Okay. Alright, something cool about this whole walkthrough too, guys, is that we're going to be doing a lot of editing to return to places instead of just wasting time walking back. So, I'll be right back with you. We're going to be right in front of the Pokemon Center, going or leaving Cherry Grove Town. So, I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, guys, so we did a few battles. We bought a few new things, and yes, as you guys probably noticed, yes, we found a secret item that we were trying to look for. A few minutes ago, but here we are back in Cherry Grove Town. Now we're about to exit, and uh, right before you exit, here's uh, this individual right here. You know, this guy who pushed us and all that stuff. Yeah. You got a Pokemon at the lab. What a waste. It went like you? Don't you get what I'm saying? No, not really. Well, I too have a good Pokemon. I'll show you what I mean. So here it is, guys, our very first Pokemon battle. And it's against our rival right here. Question mark, question mark, question mark. That's a pretty cool name, right? So, as many of you guys already know, this guy will choose the type advantage over you. Kind of hurts my heart to see Cinder battling against me right here. So, yes, let's go right ahead and take on Cinder or Cyndaquil. And yes, Chico has grown to level 9. At level 8, it actually learned Razor Leaf. So that's a that's a big, big, big plus right there. Now, the only messed up part about it is that Razor Leaf right here won't have any effect. Like, won't be super effective against this guy. But it does have a critical hit, which actually helps us out just a tad bit. And, well, time to finish this guy off. Tackle attack for the win. And bam! We have defeated Cyndaquil, and we get so much experience points. Yeah, the wimp has won. <laughs> Are you happy you won? Yes, I am. Da, da, da. My name is question mark, question mark, question mark. I'm going to be the world's greatest Pokemon trainer. Why do you keep on pushing me? Anywho, again, editing. We're going to go back to, uh, what was it called? Uh, to New, New Bark Town. So, I'll be right back with you guys. If my Pokemon grows some more levels, I will let you know. Alrighty, so here we are back in New Bark Town, guys, and we're gonna go straight to Professor Realm, and, well, some chaos, because uh, I guess that guy stole the Pokemon. I heard a Pokemon was stolen here. I was just getting some information from Professor Realm. Apparently, it was a young male with long red hair. What? You battled a trainer like that? Did you happen to get his name? Well, it's very simple, guys. Yes, his name was question mark, question mark, but... I, li I do like the mechanic where we actually see his Pokemon trainer card rather than just like get the question mark right here. So yes guys, we're going to be naming this guy back to his original name. Say hello to Silver. I don't even know why they would name these kids by colors and all that stuff. Okay, so Silver was the name. Thanks for helping my investigation. And there he goes, and we will never see that guy ever again. So let's go ahead and talk to Professor Elm, and he's like, Draven. This is terrible! Oh, yes! What was Mr. Pokemon's big discovery? And here we hand over the mystery uh, egg, and he's like surprised, like this! But, is it a Pokemon egg? If it is, it is a great discovery! What? Professor Oak gave you a Pokedex? Draven, is that true? That's incredible! He is superb at seeing the potential of people as trainers. Wow, Draven. You may have what it takes to become a champion, which I kind of am. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. You seem to be getting on a great with Pokemon too. You should take a, or you should take the Pokemon Gym Challenge. The closest gym would be the one at Violet City. Draven, the road to the uh, championship will be a long one. Before you leave, make sure to talk to your mama. 
Okay, well, let's go right and talk to our mama, but before we leave... Draven, use this on your Pokedex quest. And we get ourselves some Pokeballs, which is also great. To add to your Pokedex, you have to catch Pokemon. Throw Pokeballs at the wild Pokemon to get them. And yes, we got our Pokeballs and all that crap. Okay! So, before we finish off our little episode right here, let's go right ahead and talk to Mama. And my Mama's like, wow, it's a cute Pokemon. Where did you get it? So, you're leaving on an adventure? Okay, I'll help too. But what can I do for you? I know, I'll save money for you. On a long journey, money's important. Do you want me to save your money? Yes, I do, because you actually bring in some pretty nifty items right here. Okay, I'll take care of your money. Da -da -da -da. Be careful. Pokemon are your friends. You need to work as a team. Now, go on. Anywho, this has concluded our very first episode of Pokemon Crystal. 2022 edition, guys. Maybe 2023. I'm excited about about the changes, guys. Literally, I was writing this down on a piece of, uh, on a on a notebook on how this team will actually go. What kind of Pokemon do I need? How do I need to change it up from the first walkthrough, uh, the first Pokemon uh, Crystal walkthrough? I'm very very excited because eventually this will all lead to Pokemon Stadium, which you know we kind of put off to the side for quite some time. And since you know. I've been getting this reputation of being the old school gamer and all that stuff. I might as well do it. You know, stick with the old school stuff. Continue the other stuff that I have here on this channel. And make it interesting for you guys. So, thank you guys again for watching. The heart button right there is the donation button. If you guys like my stuff and all that stuff. To keep this going and all that. The link's in the description. If you guys want to join and eventually see Pokemon Silver, the membership only uh, walkthrough. Go ahead and uh, join. This will be the very first membership walkthrough that we will have uh, later on in November. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next episode as we continue our adventure right here in the second generation Johto again. Yeah, see you guys.